Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. A lot of designers and engineers are familiar with simulating mechanical behaviors in their designs, but on a larger scale, at the Product Lifecycle Management or PLM level, simulation exercises may actually involve digitally recreating the setup of a plant or a factory. You might simulate a plant, for instance, to get a better understanding of the throughput, the consequences of machine failures and the time it requires to repair it, the effects of footpaths that workers need to take to get to the workstation, the speed with which you can expect to process if you add a new processing station to the current mix, and other what-if scenarios. What we're looking at now is Plant Simulation, a student edition software available for free for students from Siemens PLM Software. It's part of the company's Technomatic suite. The software has a basic drag-and-drop interface with a library of objects you can place on a blank floor with a grid system that you can snap objects to. What I'm creating here is a very simple setup. I've got a source object, a processing machine, and a drain. My source, for instance, is a candy spitter. My processor is a candy boxing machine. And my drain is a shipping station. Now once you've got the flow set up and the objects are connected to one another through a flow arrow, you can start simulating the material flow. To add more realism, I'll start adjusting the attributes of my machines. For example, my processing machine is only available 90% of the time, I'm going to say. Now that changes the throughput and the workflow dynamics. I can see it in the statistics and also in the graphics chart. I get this display by dropping the machine into the chart object. Ultimately, people will create their own items and entities. In my imaginary case, it's a candy boxing machine. You can probably guess I'm eating chocolate as I test the software. This will be based on the standard library object that is provided by the software, but it's customized with my own machine speed, mean time between failures, and average availability in percentages. The model gets more complex and also more reliable in its calculations as you add more details like conveyor belts with certain speeds and packing stations that are operating for a certain percentage of the time. The software also allows you to add workstations, places where workers can be positioned to work alongside the machine, and a pool of workers you can use to assign to different processing stations. Your models can be studied in 2D diagrams, complete with animations, or in 3D view. You can also create flow diagrams in 3D with the same drag and drop method, but I suspect most people will start from 2D. Somehow, a simple 2D line diagram tends to be better for figuring out flows than a realistic close-up 3D view, which is sometimes cluttered. On the other hand, 3D view can be very useful if you need to communicate certain foot traffic issues or layout and machine accessibility to your management. Siemens Plant Simulation is a fairly sophisticated piece of software with a lot of input fields, so expect to spend some time mastering the software. Since I don't have experience running factories and plants, some of the terms like exit strategy and failure importer sounds a bit alien to me, but I'm assuming that those are industry terms easily grasped by professional plant managers. I'll have to say plant simulation is much more than a flowchart with nice graphics that represents your factory or plant setup. 
It's a powerful automated calculator with rich graphics and animation possibilities on top of it. To get accurate answers to your questions, like what happens when I assign three or more workers to the assembly line, or what happens if one of my assembly stations is operating only 70% of the times, you need to be prepared to provide a lot of information to define your machines and your workers' capacity first. The student license has a cap on the maximum number of objects you can place into your design, the limit that professional vision doesn't impose. Siemens hopes that these free student licenses will introduce plant simulation to the education market, possibly in courses that have to do with manufacturing operations management. For a simple setup like one material distribution point with two to three machines and a boxing station, the software may be overkill. But to model complex plant setup with parallel flow lines and multiple machines, with workers with varying shifts and capacity, with machines that have a tendency to break down, as machines invariably do, plant simulation is the appropriate software package. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine reporting from somewhere on a virtual assembly line in his own candy packing plant.